Hey guys, Michael here, and I'm back to talk bricks. Today we're talking This Week in Bonus LEGO News, where every Saturday I bring you the LEGO stories you need to know. It's another awesome week with the reveal of the latest modular building and the LEGO Ninjago employee holiday gift. New reveals from Spider-Man and DC superheroes, plus a $500 superhero set coming soon. And what's the deal with LEGO canceling sets? And I'll kick off another round of the weekly giveaway. Just subscribe and leave a comment about this week's news. And of course, I'm back with LEGO deals from Amazon and across the web, so if you want to pick anything up to support the channel, there's links in the description below. First up, the LEGO Star Wars Resistance Wing Star Fighter is 30% off, and the LEGO Super Mario Guarded Fortress is 28% off. Next up, the LEGO Classic Grey Base Plate is 40% off, and the White Base Plate is 23% off. Next, the LEGO Marvel Infinity Gauntlet, Darth Vader Helmet, and Boba Fett Starship are all 20% off. Over at Walmart, the LEGO Star Wars Skywalker Adventure Pack is 38% off, and the LEGO City Stunts Wheelie Stunt Bike is 37% off. Over at LEGO The Birds of Paradise is 30% off. Plus, the LEGO Adidas Original Superstar and Queer Eye Fab Five Loft are both 20% off. Plus, you can get a free Tatooine homestead with $85 or more on Star Wars, or the Gryffindor Dorms with $100 or more on Harry Potter. And if you want to pick anything up and support the channel, you can find these deals and more in the description below. Next up, thanks to Brick Merge, there's a huge rumor that we could be getting a $500 superhero set. And coming after the $230 Tumblr and the $300 Epic Daily Bugle sets, it's leaving a lot of fans speculating what we could be getting. On the Marvel front, we're already rumored to get a large-scale version of the Ultimate Collector series Hulkbuster. At $500, it would be massive enough to hold this new Iron Man buildable figure inside. With there being a lot of re-releases lately, like the Tumblr and the R2D2, I wouldn't be surprised if they were turned to the helicarrier. And it would be crazy to imagine one the size of the Titanic. But after that unbelievable daily bugle, I feel like we all are hoping for a large-scale Avengers Tower, with all sorts of amazing interior rooms. As for new things, I'd love to see the X-Mansion from X-Men, or the Oscorp building from Spider-Man, but I think the best one would probably be Asgard from Thor. On the DC side, the LEGO Batmobiles have made popular sets in this price range, but at $500, it seems like it should be something bigger which makes something like the Batcave at a large scale a really epic idea at $500. And while this 1960s Batcave had a piece of Wayne Manor, it would be epic to get the full Wayne Manor sitting on top. And another epic set would be a large-scale Arkham Asylum, hopefully done again in this more gothic style. As for something new, I'd love to see a large-scale Hall of Justice with tons of great superhero minifigures. And while I would also personally love the Daily Planet, after the Daily Bugle, I'm not sure we're gonna get this so soon. Next up in DC News, coming with the new edition of the character encyclopedia, we've got the reveal of the exclusive Val Zod Earth 2 Superman minifigure. And while you might not be as familiar with this version of the character, I think LEGO did a great job bringing this one to life, with the awesome logo on the chest and the design continuing onto the legs. You might recall that it was rumored that we'd get Clarion the Witch Boy for this book, so it could be that this figure is still coming in a future set. As a huge Superman fan, I'm really excited about this character and the diverse representation it brings. And if you want to pre-order the book and support the channel, there's a link in the description below. Next up, thanks to the LEGO Instructions app, we've got four new sets coming for Spidey and his amazing friends. First, we've got Spider-Man Webquarters Hangout with 155 pieces, retailing for $50. This is their main base from the show, and while it's all juniorized, there's some great details. At the top, there's this printed Spider-Man head and a printed screen, plus that new web piece can be combined to capture Goblin. At the center, there's a basketball hoop with slides leading down to Ghost Spider's music area and Miles' art area. There's a build for Ghost Spider's Ghost Copter, and there's a build for Green Goblin's vehicle with a detachable glider. This set comes with five minifigures, with nice new figures for Green Goblin, Ghost Spider, and Spider-Man, plus Kamala Khan with an awesome new hairpiece and Miles Morales. Next up, we've got Spider-Man at Doc Ock's lab with 131 pieces, retailing for $30. There's quite a few components here with a nice build for Spider-Man's web crawler. Doc Ock has the monster mech and Ghost Spider this pink web, plus a new mold for Tracy. And the figures again look nice here, especially the new Doc Ock with that hairpiece. Next, we've got Hulk vs. Rhino Truck Showdown with 110 pieces, retailing for $20. This is a classic face-off set with Rhino and his truck bashing into the safe. And on the right, we've got Hulk with his truck with giant fists and Spider-Man in a glider. I love the minifigure with that great new accessory for Rhino on the left, and a new minifigure scale Hulk on the right. And finally, Spider-Man's Techno Trike with 59 pieces retailing for $10. The main build is Miles' Techno Trike with the large red web, plus a slightly larger version of Goblin's Glider. And there are no exclusive figures in this set. Next up, this week we got the reveal of the Boutique Hotel Modular Building with 3,066 pieces retailing for $200, which commemorates 15 years of modular buildings. This set features two buildings, including the Boutique Hotel and the El Cubo Art Gallery. And this is a super unique corner modular with the building jutting out at that angle. The bottom floor features the gallery and the hotel lobby. There's a cool sign above the door and great brickwork and arches. Plus, near the stairs there, there's a bulletin board with tons of Easter eggs from other modulars. The front lobby features a couch and nice detail on the floor, plus this front desk with a sign-in sheet with more Easter eggs and the old-timey keys on the wall. The second floor is built in a unique light flesh color. And here we can see one of the two hotel rooms on this floor, featuring lots of great mini-builds for furniture. And the smaller room has a balcony that looks onto the street. The top floor features one large suite, which is far more spacious than the others. Again, there's lots of great furniture builds with a large bed with chocolate on the pillow 
and an old-timey TV. Plus, this one features a nice bathroom. The roof features this spire and large skylight, and I love all the details around the edges with those snakes. On the left, we've got the small building for the art gallery, which features all sorts of unique LEGO art inside, including this sculpture of the old Creator Expert logo and this Picasso-esque painting of a McDonald's Galador toy. There's also a small rooftop section with a unique build for a palm tree and a bar for people to sit out and enjoy. There are seven minifigures included with the set, including these awesome new hotel employees and plenty of people to populate the scene. Overall, it's been 15 great years of modular buildings, and the boutique hotel just continues on that legacy, with a really uniquely structured building with fun details throughout. And if you want to support the channel and pick it up when it comes out in January, there's a link in the description below. Next up, thanks to some employees on Twitter, we got the reveal of this year's holiday gift, the Ninjago Temple of Celebrations. This set is exclusive to LEGO employees and some special individuals, and commemorates 10 years of Ninjago. The build itself features a pagoda-style temple with all of the ninjas celebrating the holidays. And I think the build looks really nice all together, kind of like the Temple of Air Jitsu. The set even includes a Destiny's Bounty-style sleigh and a reindeer dragon. This set comes with a whopping 11 minifigures, including all of the gold 10th anniversary figures and a Santa version of Garmadon. And while technically none of the parts are exclusive to this set, it would be very expensive to put it together. And speaking of putting it together, thanks to Bricks fans, we get a great look at some of the first ever paper bags that are included with this set. I can't wait to get them in my first set because the bags look pretty cool. Next up in Marvel news, we talked about previously these all new mech armor sets, which were coming out in January. But since we last spoke, all of the product pages have been pulled down from the website and LEGO issued a statement that they would be delayed or canceled due to stability issues. While LEGO didn't state what the stability issue is, many fans have noticed that these newer mechs feature a different leg assembly than the originals, as the legs have a different attachment to the hips with the newer version as compared to the older version, with the legs attaching with two different ball joints. As a superheroes fan, I just hope we'll get these minifigures, especially Wolverine. So hopefully LEGO's able to issue a fixed version or include these minifigures in another set. But as always, we'll have to wait and see. And speaking of canceled sets, thanks to Hothbricks, this Mr. and Mrs. Claus's living room promo was also canceled this year. Typically, LEGO has two different promo sets like the ones we see here, which were featured from 2020. And while we were able to get the Santa's front yard promo, the Mr. and Mrs. Claus's living room promo seems to have been canceled for not meeting LEGO's strict quality standards. Seen here is a mock-up from Hothbricks, but it looks like this would have been a pretty fun promo, and I especially would have loved a new Mrs. Claus. So we'll have to see if we ever get this promo either next year or maybe for some Christmas in July. Next up in LEGO Ideas news, there was a whopping seven projects hit 10,000 supporters over the last couple weeks. So let's break them down. First up, we've got Pirate Tavern, which features a uniquely shaped tavern on the island of Tortuga. The design for this one is super unique, and I really love all of the look of the pirate combined with steampunk aesthetic. There's just so much greebling and detail to really bring this one to life, including a full interior inside. And with pirates being a popular LEGO Ideas submission, I think this one could be cool. Next up, we've got the Riverside Scholars, which feels like a location out of Zelda. This structure has such a unique design, and I especially love all the fun, colorful detail and the way it really brings the story to life. Plus, in addition to all the cool landscaping detail, there's also interior sections to the building with lots of details inside. Next up, we've got the Meeting Point, which is almost like a modular building of a train station. The main glass building at the center is super unique, and I love how it sits at an angle, not to mention that there's a set of tracks for you to attach a train to. There's so much great interior detail with a little cafe and a newsstand. But then again, it sadly seems that these modular buildings never fare well in review. Next up, we've got Lego Ghibli, which features vignettes from the movies of Studio Ghibli. Included in this build are vignettes from Howl's Moving Castle, My Neighbor Totoro, Castle in the Sky, and Spirited Away. The builds look nice, each featuring iconic moments from the movies. And as lots of Studio Ghibli projects have hit 10,000 supporters, I can see this one being popular. Next up, we've got Soyuz Rocket, based of course on the Russian spacecraft. The Soyuz Rocket is still in use today, and it has some really interesting shaping that the designer was able to capture. The build features the various stages and the capsule, and with space projects being popular, we'll have to see how this one does. Next up, we've got Orchid, which looks like it would fit right in with the LEGO Botanical Collection. The build captures the flower's design really well, and I think it would look very elegant on display in your home. Plus, I love the build at the bottom, which is shaped like a 2x2 LEGO brick. Next up, we've got Baba Yaga, which was a project that had previously hit 10,000 supporters. This project is based off of a European fairy tale featuring a forest witch. Like with the recent Office project, we know that it's not impossible to get selected on your second or third time around, but as always, we'll have to wait and see. So there you have it, folks. That was this week in bonus LEGO news, and it's wild to think that there's even more stuff coming out. I'm personally so eager to find out what that $500 superhero set is. Plus, I can't wait to see the new modular in person. I'm also super curious to see what's going to happen with those canceled sets, and I hope we do get them soon. Be sure to leave this video a thumbs up down below to help others find the channel. 
and don't forget to subscribe because I'll be back next Saturday with even more Lego news. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think about all the stories? And which one are you most excited about? And now we've got this week's giveaway winner. Congratulations! And be sure to email me from the About page on my channel so we can coordinate about the prize. And if you want to enter this week's round, just leave me a comment about this week's news. You must be a subscriber to win. And definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks and have a good one. Hey guys, Michael here. Click to watch last week's video featuring reveals from Marvel, Ninjago, Star Wars, Minecraft, minifigures, City, and more. And don't forget to subscribe.